Hello and welcome. Today we are talking about the difference between a spot and a forward forward rate. Now, one of the things we look at is that if when we pull up uh, Bloomberg or we pull up uh, or Yahoo Finance or we pull up whatever we want and we're looking at our, our given exchange rate, is that let's say we have an exchange rate right of one twelve dollars per euro, okay? And so we have that rate, and that's actually the rate that we see. Now that rate that we see, the one that we see currently, see today's rate, that is what we call a spot rate, okay? Is that we look at it on the spot right now is that that is the rate that we actually see, okay? So we see $112 per euro. Now one of the things that, that a lot of companies are concerned about is that when we, whenever we structure contracts, is that those contracts are going to be set out for a number of periods of time, right? Is that, let's say that we are, are all right, so let's talk about an American company. So we have an American company, okay, and let's say that we're going to talk about Harley Davidson, okay? We're going to talk about Harley Davidson as our American company, right? And so when they want to pay for stuff, is that they want to pay in dollars, right? They always want to pay in dollars. And let's say Harley Davidson is setting up a contract and they're buying some stuff from overseas. Let's say that they are buying um, some spark plugs, okay? They're buying all their spark plugs from a German company, okay? And this German company expects to get paid. They want to receive euro, okay? So if we're making this exchange happen today, what we're going to do is we're going to take our dollar, go in at that spot rate at that dollar twelve, and then receive, and then we'll get euro, and then we'll give those euros to the German company. However, this creates a problem because in most businesses, is that if we're setting up a large contract, is that let's say that this exchange is going to happen in six months. Okay, can exchange rates change? Can that dollar euro exchange rate change in the next six months? Yes, it can change a lot, and the amount that the that Harley Davidson is going to be paying can change dramatically depending on what happens with exchange rates. Right? Exchange rates can move in a direction where it actually costs them less money, and that's beneficial to them. It can also change in one direction where it's going to cost them more money, and that would be have adverse reactions. Okay, so um, let's say that we're doing here is that. We are having to pay this German company, okay, a hundred thousand euro. Okay, so we're gonna pay them a hundred thousand euro at the current spot rate, right? That means that we're gonna be paying them a hundred and twelve thousand dollars. Okay, that would be at today if we are exchanging that today. However, what we're looking at is we're making this exchange in six months, and we want to know what's gonna happen in the next six months. So we know that if the dollar depreciates relative to the euro, let's say that this value here goes from 112, say to 115, that means the dollar is depreciating, right? Is that we are going, it's gonna cost us more money, right? Harley Davidson is gonna to have to pay out more money and they don't want that to happen, okay? So the next thing that we can be looking at is that we can be looking at forward rates. Okay, so we're going to look at forward rates for a moment. And with these forward rates is that we might have a forward rate of, say, $113 per euro. Okay, and so this is a rate, this is a six-month forward, okay, which basically says that in six months from now, you can bring in $1.13 and exchange it for one euro. That's what we're gonna do in six months from today. Okay, we have entered into this agreement, right? I made an agreement with you and said, we are going to do this. Six months from now, I will give you $1.13 and you will give me one euro, okay? So since we have this contract where we are looking at having an exchange of 100,000 euro, Okay, is that I can enter in this agreement right now and I can say, all right, I have to pay this German company 100,000 euro. Okay, and I can I have, I have two things I can basically do is that I can wait and see what the spot rate is, what, what the market rate is going to be for those euros in six months from now and I can just buy them in the market. Alternatively, I could just lock in that price right now with that forward rate. 
okay? So I'm going to lock in this forward rate at the dollar 13. If I lock in the forward rate at a dollar 13, that means it's going to cost me right now $113,000. Okay? And so what I'm going to do is that I entered in this in with an intermediary and I said, all right, we're going to lock this in. I'm going to exchange $113,000 with the investment bank that's sitting in the middle. Okay, so I exchanged these funds, this $113,000 for 100,000 euros in six months with the investment bank. Okay, and then what I'm able to do is I'm able to take that $100,000 and then go pay off the spark plugs. I know exactly how much I'm going to be paying right now. Okay, when I enter into this contract. Okay, now one of those things that could happen, why, right, why we are going to use the future rate, excuse me, the forward rate, is because if we wait to see what for the spot rate, is what happens if the spot rate, if the actual rate changes, right, to say $115 per euro, okay? My actual cost now is going to be $115,000, okay? What happens if it goes up to 1.2? That means my cost would be $120,000, okay? So our spot rate with the price that we're paying in the market in six months, we don't know what it is. Okay. Regardless of what these prices are showing us down here, how much am I going to pay? I'm going to pay 113 because I entered into that forward rate up there. I entered into a contract saying that I'm going to pay 113 for one euro. Okay. So that's essentially what I did. We entered into that agreement. Now, why is this company going to do this? Okay, why is Harley Davidson going to enter into this forward contract? The reason Harley Davidson is going to enter in this forward contract is that what is Harley Davidson's business? They are making motorcycles. Okay, so that's what they do is that they make motorcycles. Okay, now alternatively, what is an investment banker's job? To facilitate transactions. Okay, their job is to facilitate. Okay. Harley Davidson, are they in the market for speculating in foreign exchange markets? No, they're not. It's not what they're known to do. They are not known to speculate in foreign exchange markets. Okay, They are known to make motorcycles. They want to focus on making motorcycles. So when they're entering into these long-term contracts is that they're going to set up and purchase at the given forward rates, purchase and sell at, at those given forward rates. Okay. Uh, the next one we're going to go into is we're going to actually show you a couple problems on how we how we work this out. Okay.